episode of Cooking with Saucy Sean's Fine Eats, where we try and make real food for real people. <clears throat> or at least I make food for me and hope you enjoy this. Something like that. So, I've been really bad with videos lately, and I'm sorry. It kind of gets tired and hard at times, especially the editing. But I'm really trying to work on that and uh, become more regular once again. I am watching my lights flicker like crazy and going, why? Ah, maybe it is this camera. Yeah, I'm just using my Samsung. So you may notice I'm a little bit hot and sweaty. It is um, July, July the 9th. I am in Kennesaw, Georgia again at the moment. It gets down to, you know, 24C at night. Um, it was like 35 yesterday during the day. Nope, I'm still flashing. So I'm a little bit hot and bothered. Um, but that's kind of who I am, and I sit there and try and enjoy it. Um, so I apologize for all of this. I am going to make some spaghetti sauce this morning. It's morning. Uh, I'm going to make the sauce. I'm going to put it in the slow cooker here and let it just cook all day. You can do this quicker on a stove top and stuff, but, you know, again, i got these really crappy pots. They'll scorch easy. I don't want to use them. So I'm going to use the slow cooker. This slow cooker I picked up, I don't know, a year and a half ago, a year ago, and it works. Um, but I'm actually not that happy with it. So this Hamilton Beach on my reviews goes bleh. Anyways, so we're going to do some spaghetti sauce. We're going to cook it. We're going to have spaghetti or linguine or something later, or whatever I picked up. And we're going to see how it goes. I have no recipe. This is just off the cuff of stuff either I had lying around or I picked up. And I'm going to throw it all in here and see what happens. So I'm going to start with some fancy frou frou tomatoes. These are San Maranzano style whole tomatoes. Fire roasted, they're organic, they're calif well they're CA grown, so that could be Canada, but I'm gonna assume it's California because you know Americans, I think it's all about them. I love you guys. Uh, anyways, field to can in eight hours. So somehow they bring them from the field, pick them from the field, roast them, and then throw them in a can. So these look like they're whole tomatoes, yep. That's okay, they're gonna cook down. Throw that can in there. I bought another can of diced tomatoes when I was buying those whole ones. These are just regular, well, yeah, these, these were both from Whole Foods, it was the closest grocery store. And then I had another can lying around, so I'm going to throw it in. Yeah, I'm making a big batch of sauce, I hope to eat it for a few days. Um, you know, cook once, eat more. I picked up a basil plant on Monday, this is Saturday. Monday? No, it wasn't Monday. It would have been Tuesday when I went to Whole Foods. And it's already pretty much died on me, so I harvested all the basil leaves I could off of it. Ripped them up a bit, and I'm just going to throw that in there. And then I've got some granulated garlic. I don't have much left. Then a clump, probably about two tablespoons, throw it in. About a tablespoon of salt, probably too much. And pepper. Yeah, that's about a tablespoon of pepper too. So that's what I have for seasonings. We'll see how that turns out, shall we? Now, before I started this video, because it would be noisy and messy and take a lot of time, I browned some ground beef. Got two pounds of ground beef here. It's an 80-20 mix. Um, Good ground beef you brown it ahead of time so you don't boil it and cook it this actually when you brown the meat and sear meat it actually imparts some flavor into the outside of it and stuff and just makes it taste a lot better uh, and you also can get off some of the fat interestingly enough the last thing I cooked in this pan was bacon and I just left I scraped the grease out but I left the leftovers in and didn't actually wash it because well bacon grease I mean do I need to say anything else really Bacon grease and ground beef in my in my pan here. Now I'm not gonna actually drain out the extra fat, I'm gonna let it go in. There's not a lot in here, it's just, just enough to add a, a little bit more flavor. Because you know, this is my cast iron fry pan, I keep it with me. 
um, down here so that when I travel down I can unless you got two big totes of stuff I've got like the spices the, the salt the pepper the garlic that all came out of my totes so I don't have to rebuy every time I come down or I can buy a bit of extra and not have to uh, throw it out so I've got all this in my slow cooker and I'm just going to give it a good mix I have no idea how this is going to turn out I think it's going to be good um, it kind of follows my recipe of, you know what, you don't have to be fancy to cook. You just need to take things that you like. I think my daughter put it good a few years ago. It's not hard to cook yummy food. You take stuff you like and you put it together and you get yummy food. So we're going to see. Maybe this will be yummy food. Maybe not. Let's see. I may buy some more pepper today because I thought I had more than that. I really want this to be black peppery. Um, I don't have any hot sauce. Break those tomatoes down a bit. Um, I got some chili I could put in it. I'll spice it up a bit. Hang on a second, let me do that. Got a little bit of hot Mexican style chili powder left here. What's in here? Oh, spices. Ah, that's a good thing. It includes chili powder, cumin, oregano, salt, sodium ducks. So it's cumin, oregano, chili powder. Oh, chili pepper. I'll throw a bit of it in, but actually I like the black pepper. I'm going to get some more, I'm pretty sure. Um, I actually like what black pepper does on pasta. <laughs> you just really pepper it up and come up good. So, that's it, folks. Um... It was a toss-up today between doing this or doing what I will do maybe next week. It's really nice. Saturday morning I have time to actually do some of this stuff. So I'm going to put this on the low. I'm going to put the lid on. Shove it back in the corner. I'll deal with my garbage in a couple of minutes. But later this week or next or something, I'm going to make some green curry. Thai green curry. I found some green curry paste. I don't know what this brand is like. I've had different brands in the past. When you think of curry, what do you think of? You think of India. But really, the whole Asian continent, subcontinent, sub area of the earth, Asia, part of earth, that land mass and masses with all those people, they all have some kind of curry, I think, all of them. I may have exaggerated when I said that, but a lot of them, there we go, how about we do a lot of them, have some kind of curry in their diet. And there's all sorts of different ones. The Chinese have curries. Japanese have curries, Vietnam, they have curries, at least in Vietnamese restaurants they have curries, uh, Thai definitely has curries, Thailand, and I like Thai food, a lot of it is very fresh tasting, so when I saw this, I was in a, in a it was called World Food Market, and no, not World Food, World Market, and they've got weird combination of international foods and cooking stuff and soaps and Ikea, smaller than Ikea, but um, furniture and stuff, there we go. So it's interesting, but um, they had this curry paste that was on sale, I thought I'd give it a try. So that's coming up soon, folks. Anyways, we're going to let this cook. We are going to come back this afternoon, this evening, whenever I get back, i got to go to work for a few hours. And we're going to try it out, see if I need some more spices or anything. I'll be cooking up some pasta. We've shown how to do that. Some people don't, believe it or not, some people don't know how to cook pasta. It's really easy. Anyways, folks, talk to you in a while. Hey, welcome back. So I've uh, left this cooking all day, came back a little while ago, uh, and turned it on to high and added more pepper. As I said, I needed more black pepper. So I did that. Got water boiling over here for pasta, which I'm going to throw in the pot. A little bit of uh, salt in there. I bought some fettuccine. I like thick noodles. Like this is kind of those things of you. People will say, "Well, you need a this kind of sauce for that kind of noodle or something." And I kind of go, "You know what? Eat what you like. Don't be bound by the conventions of other people." So I've got the. Uh, let's see if I can get 
There we go. I got the uh, biggest pot I got here on the stove. You, when you're cooking pasta, you want lots of water. Lots of starch comes out and stuff, and you need lots of water to, to cook it. So use the biggest pot you can and lots of water. And it's going to cook this whole package because I can reheat it throughout the week. I'm going to put it in there and it's going to come back to a boil and then you've got to watch it. You want to keep it boiling but you don't want it to boil over. Don't put a lid on it. Cook it uncovered. And it says right on here. Right on the package it'll say how long it generally should cook for. 10 to 12 minutes. How long exactly? It's up to you. Nothing special about this pasta. I picked it up at Aldi. It was cheap. This entire pot of pasta and pot of spaghetti sauce will probably cost like 20 bucks. And be able to get a lot of meals out of it. Now, I was thinking about a bowl I was going to put my supper in. Where is it? In the dishwasher. Okay. Uh, you know, I'll use a small bowl. Anyways, we're going to let this cook for another, say, 15 to 20 minutes. We got our sauce here. Uh, it's bubbling away really nicely. It's come together nicely. I had to break up those whole tomatoes a little bit more. You know, the ingredients in the sauce, you know, it's kind of what you like. If I had fresh garlic, I would have used it. If I had Mushrooms, I would have thrown some lemon maybe. Um, what else? You peppers, onions, kind of? Make something like So this has turned out pretty good. Got a little spoonful over here to try. It's really good. So, we got to let this stuff cook, as I say, for about 10 minutes. Um, and we'll come back and we will do a taste test. It's nice, it uh, cooled down a little bit this afternoon. <laughs> really nice. So this, uh, when it's cooking, it's usually at the boil it needs that time. So we'll see when this comes back to a boil. It'll probably, yeah, it's almost there. And we'll let it cook. Once it's cooked, we'll come back, but I'm gonna put a colander in the sink, which is clean. And that's gonna take the pot, dump it in there and get all the water out of it. Some people like to rinse it. Really, you shouldn't. But it does stop it from sticking a bit. You can also pour a little bit of oil on it. Eh, why would you do that? Olive oil, at least, if you do it. I kind of just go, well, it'll stick a little bit. The sauce will loosen it up. It'll all be good. So, we'll talk to you in a few minutes. Hey, it's me again. I'm back. So, our pasta is pretty much done. Cook it to how you like it. Again, this is what it's all about, how you like it. If you like your pasta a little bit harder, then cook it a little bit harder. If you like it a little bit softer, cook it a little bit softer. Don't overcook gluten-free pasta. That just turns to mush. So I've got some pasta here. Mm. It's been about 10 minutes. It just needs another minute or so. I'll have that ready. And we'll talk about, what are we talking about today? Hmm, humidity. Humidity is a killer, holy. Yesterday, end of the day, got into my car and the temperature, because it's a fancy rental car, it's got a temperature, little thing like 101 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't even know what that is Celsius, that's like 35, 36. It was hot. 50 plus 60 percent humidity it was with the humidex yesterday it was supposed to be something like 105 106 just crazy i don't know how people live down here at least up home when it's cold we can put clothes on out here you can only take off so many clothes and then you're naked and still hot and sweaty I haven't done that yet no no not, not in front of people don't want to torture people with that so Pasta is a kind of a cool thing. It comes in many shapes, sizes, styles. Take the pastas you like, enjoy them. 
make a sauce you like. This sauce, you know what, I could use it in a lasagna, I could use it over top of the fettuccine or spaghetti or macaroni. Um, if you have cheese and you can eat cheese, sprinkle some cheese on it. Make a baked uh, pasta out of it. You can do all sorts. I'm oh, sorry, I just suddenly thought my camera wasn't on, but it is. <laughs> you can make all sorts of things out of it. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to try this on some rice too later in the week, I think. So I'm turning off my pot. I am dumping the pasta into the colander. I'm going to try and scrape off the little bits left in the bottom and stuck a little bit. Slightly undercooked, a little bit on the harder side. I'll take a nice big spoonful of pasta or some forks full, tongs full, lobster claws. <laughs> See, lobster claws. You have to do that before using them, by the way. And we're going to take some sauce. I'm going to turn it off now so it'll start cooling. And I'm going to stir it up a little bit more just to mix everything up. Pour a little bit of that over top there we go look at that nice bowl of meaty sauce and pasta vegetables a whole meal in one so it's too hot I'm gonna burn my face off if I try that right now okay. let's get a little bit of sauce here Told you it was too hot. Wow. That's hot. Pretty good. It's surprising. I thought, uh, I, th I was worried when I made it earlier that I might have put too much salt in. Definitely didn't. Overall, could use a little bit more seasoning. Can still eat it. Can still season it some more. Um, it's got a nice flavor. It's not overpowering in any sense of the word. The pasta. Mm. What a nice simple meal. What do you think, folks? Leave some comments below. Tell me what you think about it. Let me know if it's something you're going to try. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you think I'm crazy. Most people who know me know I am crazy, but hey, what can you do? So thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like it in uh, YouTube there and subscribe. You can even hit the little bell down below there and it will you get notified when I upload new videos. Um, yeah, share this with your friends. We've got to try and get people watching these. Thanks for watching. From Saucy Sean to you guys, have a great day.